All right, here's perfect problem four solutions for math 112. Um, this problem has to do with arc length. Uh, so maybe before I start anything, let's talk a little bit about arc length. We can come up with a little, wow, this is going to be annoying. We can come up with a formula for arc length. Um, geez. By... Well, by, okay, think about it this way. Um, the area all the way around a circle is the circumference of a circle, which is 2 times pi times r. Um, so we can think about arc length as kind of the fraction of the way around the circle. Um, and the fraction of the way around the circle is just kind of however many radians we have. Remember, radians tells you how far around the circle we're talking about, how far around the unit circle we're talking about. Um, divided by 2 pi, because 2 pi is all the way around, and kind of radians is the fraction around the unit circle that we're talking about, or the, the distance around the unit circle. So this right here tells you the fraction of the way around the circle we're talking about. Um, but what's kind of nice here is the 2 pi's cancel out, right? This 2 pi and this 2 pi cancel out. What we get is arc length is given by just the radius of the circle times however many radians we have. Um, so that'll be really helpful, that having that as a little bit of a formula to use throughout this problem. Um, so let me show you. Number one, um, Forrest ran in a straight line from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania to Nairobi, Kenya, and estimated that he ran 415 miles. So the way to think about this is the Earth is our circle. Um, it's important to note that Dar es Salaam, that these three cities that we're talking about, all are on the same longitude so the latitude kind of tells you the way around the circle you can kind of maybe a picture would help um, here's the earth which is supposed to be a circle um, and it's really a cross section of the earth maybe um, one latitude so given latitude of earth Um, because really this isn't the whole Earth. Earth is a sphere and we want to change that into a circle. So we're just looking at a, the cross section that's one latitude. Um, and then the countries that we're talking about, well, let's see, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania is at seven degrees south. Um, so what that means is that if this is our equator, and seven degrees south of there gives us Dar es Salaam. Dar, as the locals call it. Um, and so then this is seven degrees here. And then what else this tells us is that uh, Nairobi, Kenya is just one degree south. So, well, now we can't read that it's 7 degrees south, but whatever. Um, here's Nairobi. Um, and so, and then I guess I can do one more. Moscow is 56 degrees north. So way the hell up here. So really the trick to this problem is noting that the degrees from Dar to Kenya is six degrees, right? If one's one degree south and the other seven degrees south, the difference is six degrees. So what we have is six degree, uh, maybe latitude difference. From Dar to Nairobi. Um, so we want to figure out the radius of the Earth, and we have this formula that relates that. We say that the arc length is equal to whatever the radius is times however many radians we have. Okay, so there's a couple problems there. Arc length were given. He ran 415 miles. The distance around here was 415. Um, and that's equal to R times the radians. Fortunately, we don't know how many radians we have. We know it's 6 degrees. 
So what we got to do is figure out 6 degrees equals how many radians. To convert from radians to degrees, you multiply by 2 pi divided by 360. If you want to include units, 2 pi radians over 360 degrees. So if you multiply these together, kind of the degrees cancel out is a way to think about it. And we're left with 2 pi, let's see, 6 goes into 360 60 times. In other words, we have pi over 30 radians. So the number of radians from Nairobi to Dar is just pi over 30. So what we have is a formula, or an equation, I guess, that tells us the radius of the Earth. The radius of the Earth is just equal to 30 times 415 divided by pi, which is something we can use our calculator for over here. 30 because I can't do that in my head. 30 times 415 divided by pi, you got a pi button up here. Um, and what you get is 3963, maybe we'll call it. Um, this is 415 miles, so this is miles. In other words, estimate the radius of the Earth. The radius of the Earth is 3963 miles. Um, that turns out to be pretty damn accurate. Uh, all right, number two kind of says, all right, now that you know the radius of the Earth, you can use that and figure out how far, what the arc length is um, from Nairobi to Moscow. Let's see, so how many degrees, first of all, from Nairobi to Moscow? Well, Moscow is 56 degrees, and Nairobi is one south, so that's a total of 57 degrees. 57 degrees, latitude, difference from Nairobi. It's weird writing and not being able to see the cursor yet. Nairobi to Moscow. Okay, we don't care how many degrees it is. We need to know how many radians it is. 57 degrees times 2 pi radians divided by 360 degrees. Um, you probably reduce that. Let's see, 3 goes into both of those. Uh, it doesn't work out too well, though. That's Well, sure, why not? 19, I think. Let me write instead of talk. This ends up being 38 pi divided by 120, which reduces to 19 over 60. Uh, I think that works out right. I probably should check my math there. Um, 57 times 2 pi, so 57 times 2. Maybe I'll leave the pi out and divide by 360. And I want to make sure that's the same as 19 divided by 60. Good. All right, I didn't screw anything up. So this is the radians difference from Nairobi to Moscow. So, okay, then we can figure out that the arc length we know that arc length is just radians, which is 19 pi over 60 um, times the radius, which we figured out was 39.63. Uh, and you can plug that into a calculator. It's that thing times 39.63 times pi. And what you get is that the distance around the outside, the arc length from Nairobi to Moscow, is 3,943 miles. Long way. Um, all right. So that's the answer to part two. If you wanted to run from Nairobi to Moscow, you'd have to go 3,943 miles if you ran in a straight line, if you ignored the fact that there's probably lots of mountains and oce oceans, no, rivers anyways in the difference, maybe a sea in, in the, between the two of them. Um, similarly, from Dar to Nairobi, I think Kilimanjaro gets in the way, but that doesn't really matter for this problem. We're just assuming the Earth is a perfect sphere. Um, anyways, in part three, how much further would you have to run from Moscow to get to the North Pole? So let's see, from 
Moscow to the North Pole. Moscow is at 56 degrees north. So 90 minus 56 is 34 degrees. Difference from Moscow. To the North Pole um, but again we don't care how many degrees we care how many radians we can figure that out 34 degrees times 2 pi divided by 360 um, equals I don't know I'll use a calculator here 34 times 2 divided by 360 gives me this nasty decimal, but what I can do is change that back into a fraction um, by using the math thing here, convert to fraction, and it'll tell me that's 17 over 90, and don't forget we still have that pi. So 17 pi over 90 is the radian difference from Moscow to the North Pole, so the arc length is 17 pi over 90 times the radius of the Earth, which was 3963, which we can figure out is our answer times 3963 times pi. And we get 2,000, uh, 2,352 miles. So if you're going to run from Moscow to the North Pole, you go 2,352 miles if you go in a straight line around the outside of a perfectly spherical Earth. Um, that's the end of this perfect problem.